in reading the word of God. Even when they pray, when they worship, there is such a delight in their heart to connect with the Lord, to receive from God. And this is what is the difference between when a person operates under the open heart and a person operates under the sonship spirit. Hallelujah. All right. When you go to the word of God, you go with delight. You go with expectation. Oh, Father, I'm going to connect with you today. I'm going to hear from you today. Oh, Lord, your word is a, is a, like a water in a day, which is in a, in a summer day. You're just going to refresh me. Lord, I pray today because, not because I have to, today because I want to connect with you, I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to pray for my brother and sister today. I'm going to intercede for them because there is a, such an enjoyment in my heart to bring them before you. Hallelujah. But Jack, what Jack does, Jack he said, he said, I have to do that. If I don't do that, God will not be pleased with me. And it's sad, isn't it? To operate that way. Self-image, say self-image. That's a big problem, isn't it? Self-image. One of the lies the world actually imparted to the Christians as well to the people who are not Christians about self. Say self. When you're born again, what the Bible said, when you're born again, Jesus took you on the cross, didn't he? You died on the cross. That means no self-image anymore. Say no self-image. Now you receive a new image, which is a perfect image. The image of God. The image of Son of God. When you look to yourself in the mirror, what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Jack see himself in the eyes of people. But John see himself in the eyes of God. You know, when John looked at himself, he see himself in the image of the Son of God. He see himself perfect or complete in Christ Jesus. I'm okay. You know, I look good. Doesn't matter if it's a bit, it's a bit fat in this side or this side. <laughs> when I lose weight, I'm good. When I put weight, I'm good. Thank God when I lose it, when I put it on. Because we always have these difficulties, don't we? Sometimes we lose it, sometimes we put it on. But the outward person as well as the inward person. But Jack will always worry what other people think of him. What if he wear this dress or not, or this suit or not. If she wear this, this dress or not, going to suit her or not. We always worry about our self-image. I'm not saying don't look after yourself. I'm not saying don't wear nice clothes. What I'm saying, be satisfied inside your heart who you are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> and also I find Jack always compare himself with somebody else. Comparing always leads you to a problem, isn't it? Mm. In the world, everybody see this in your game, they come and ask, they call, what, call it, what this uh, singer who died? Michael Jackson experience. You see that the new one? And they put it on and they start trying to do Michael Jackson experience. They move like him and look like him and move and do things like that. <laughs> trying to become Michael Jackson. I don't know what you're trying to be. But Jack always compared himself. But John knows who he is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. What a better image you want than the image of the Son of God, the Son of Man. <laughs> And this is what it is there. But he knows. He knows. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to move into something else. Source of comfort. Uh, what comforts you? I found with Jack, uh, comfort in affections, in activities, religious activities comfort him. I found Jack, all right, you know, if he doesn't receive affection from people, all right, it, that is that feel, you feel alone and lonely. But I found John, when you listen to John, about his sort of seek times of quietness and alone with God. Because he knows that he needs to fulfill all the time to fill this tank to be able to give away. Do you know we all have two taps? You no. Know, one tap drain us out, and we need the other opening we fill in, another tap to fill us in. How many Christians, John always have this tap open, which has come from the Lord, and this tap open to give away. It's a nice, clean, always the water flow through. Jack is a rusty person, all right? Jack, you have one, what happened to him, 
See, this tab here is not always open. This tab is shut. And what happened here? He didn't go and this, what happened to this tank? Become uh, empty. And sometimes become rusty. And sometimes become dirty. And what happened to him? He fall into traps. Because he never filled up. And a pipe always, the water flow the time through the pipe. The water flow on the top would make you cleanse you all the time. Giant John allowed the water to flow all the time because he spent time, found comfort to be alone with God. But Jack hardly spent time in quietness with the Lord. Relationship, say relationship. Wow. You know, relationship is a big thing in our life, isn't it? Uh, with Jack, I found, you know, the, if you talk to Jack, one day you sit down with Jack, maybe there's part of you, you know, the uh, Jack speak loudly to you on that. And what he does, there's competition, there's jealousy, uh, there is when somebody been, uh, become a better father, better mother, better minister, a better business person, you find Jack deep inside. Why not me? I, I, I should be the one. I should be the one have good marriage. I should be the one this. I should be the one that. Because it's always that way. But what happened with the John? There is humility. There is unity in his heart. He values other people. He rejoices when they see them blessed. When I say when I see my brother here succeeding and become the best musician God ever made, I should be rejoicing. And, and dance over him and, and sing a new song over his life. John will do that because he's secure in the love of the Father. He has a spirit of sonship. But this who have an often heart and say, hmm, it's better than him down the road, you know. <laughs> so and so can play music better than him. Yet you could see that, that spirit operating in the life of people. Maybe not your life. Maybe somebody you know. Somebody you didn't know. But we need to move from a place which is called an open heart, a place of bondage, a place of slavery, to move to the place of sonship. We've been adopted. Hallelujah. You know what adoption is? You know what in the Western world think of adoption? I'll tell you what adoption is. If this, you look beautiful today. The baby belongs to this family. And her mom and dad pass away or something, and then we, this girl been adopted by this family, isn't it? This is what you understand adoption. Okay. The Bible speaks of adoption completely differently. Amen. Bible in the, in the Bible says the father adopted his own children. When a child comes to age of 13, into manhood, the father adopted that child in his, in, as a son. Before, he was a child, but now adopt him as a son. God, you, we all, all human race, the children of God. Remember that. We're all his children. When we come to him and receive Christ to our lives, because we wake up to ourselves in many ways, God adopts us himself. We are his children, now we adopt us as what? As sons. Say sons. Adoption, spirit of adoption. There's another thing which is important. I find handling other people's faults. Jack, you remember the story of Noah? After the floods, what happened? Noah, silly Noah. He, he went there and he took a bottle of water.